If you think your neighbors are noisy, just wait till you get an earful of the serious sounds made in the natural world. We're counting down the top 10 most extreme loudmouths in the animal kingdom to find the noisiest creature on the planet. It's time to pump up the volume when loudmouths are taken to the most extreme. Earth is a planet of extremes. Extreme places and extreme animals. But some animals are more extreme than others. Join us as we count down to find the most unusual, the most extraordinary, the most extreme. Some people have turned being a loudmouth into an art form. These are the shouting men of Finland. Instead of singing, they scream songs like the Finnish national anthem. The choir was formed in 1987 by a group of young men who confess they had nothing better to do. But for the loudmouths coming up in the countdown, making a lot of noise is a matter of survival, especially for another group of males living in the swamps of Florida. Alligators are the world's most vocal reptiles. They're number 10 in the countdown thanks to a bellow. An alligator makes far more noise than we can hear. Our ears just can't pick up the ultra-low frequencies produced by a gator, which is why scientists analyze the calls with special recording equipment. Deep bass notes called infrasound are generated within the alligator's body. We can see these infrasonic calls not only on the computer screen, but in the dancing water on the alligator's back. While high frequency calls tend to bounce back off objects, infrasound will roll around things in its path. That's why for alligators, it's such a useful means of long distance underwater communication. Recently, it's been discovered that some humans have also been using infrasonic calls to communicate, not underwater, but in church. Organ players have been adding infrasound to the mix for more than 500 years. Organs work by blowing air through pipes of differing length. The longer the pipe, the deeper the note. Many churches and cathedrals have organ pipes that are so long, they produce frequencies too low for the human ear to detect. And while you may not be able to hear the notes, it seems that you really can feel the beat. Because of its low frequency, infrasound can penetrate objects, including the human body. 
we may not be able to hear the infrasound, but experiments have shown that people exposed to ultra-low frequencies report feelings of extreme sorrow or anxiety. It's also been found to cause changes in blood pressure and respiratory rate. And at its worst, result in nausea, vomiting, and bowel spasms. Researchers have suggested that the organ's infrasound may be responsible for enhancing the congregation's feelings of intense spirituality. Certainly an alligator's infrasonic call can enhance people's feelings of intense fear. However, these loudmouths bellow not to scare humans, but to attract females and scare off males. Maintaining their territory in the swamp means that any infrasonic rumble in the neighborhood has to be answered with a call of their own. The only trouble is that there are many sources of infrasound, including combustion engines. Alligators at Cape Canaveral face an even bigger challenge. Lift off. Lift off. That's why the deafening roar of the space shuttle is usually greeted with a chorus of infrasonic rumbles. An alligator can't compete with one of the loudest noises on the planet, but there are animals that can, and we'll be meeting them later in the countdown. High on a hill was a lonely goat herder who came up with a novel way of communicating. There's no mistaking that sound, yodeling. And there's no mistaking the place, the Swiss Alps, the one place in the world where they really know how to yodel. In Europe, yodeling was first used as a means of communication between mountain peaks. It's also a good way to meet a mate which is why our next contender uses a very similar technique. New Zealand may be a long way from the Swiss Alps, but high on a hill sits another lonely male. He's waiting for nightfall so that he can sing a very loud love song. These deep, booming calls can travel more than five kilometers. They're the song of the loudest bird on the planet, the kakapo. During the breeding season, this large flightless parrot moves to a prominent hilltop with low-growing vegetation. He clears an area to act as an amphitheater and then inflates an air sac within his chest. The resonating boom announces to any females in the area that he's ready to mate. Every night for four months, he pumps out up to 10,000 of these booming calls and several thousand whistles as well. But there's another large green flightless creature that uses a different technique to generate a lot of noise. In Philadelphia, People love their Philly fanatic. <laughs> and this is no ordinary team mascot, as the fanatic's manager, Tom Burgoyne, explains. The Philly fanatic is actually very much like the kakapo. He's green, he's fat, he's flightless, uh, but there is one difference. 
whereas the kakapo is one of the loudest species on the planet, the fanatic doesn't say a word, doesn't make a sound. It creates a lot of excitement, a lot of noise. Fans go crazy when they see them, but the fanatic is mute. As the official mascot of the Philadelphia baseball team, the fanatic's an expert at creating noise. For more than a quarter of a century, the Fanatic's been entertaining fans in Philadelphia and across the nation. Recently, he became part of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Luckily, the Philly Fanatic only tries to entertain humans and not Kakapo females. Or in the forests of New Zealand, his big green belly would go unnoticed unless he was producing the loudest bird song in the world. However, the Kakapo's five kilometer call is no match for our next contender. It's a loud mouth with a cry that's so loud it travels three times farther. Our first two contenders really knew how to make themselves heard, but there are plenty of loudmouths still to come. Could some of them be howling mad? And what have these guys got to scream about?